This is a 1983 Suzuki GR650. It's a twin double overhead cam motor. It's got a very flat torque uh, power band on it. Uh, it was sold only a couple years in the United States. Um, it's also called the Tempter. It's probably one reason why it wasn't so popular. This one only has 11,000 miles on it. Uh, the seat has been reupholstered. They have very plush seats. The chrome on the bike is excellent. We just uh, we just did the front end, uh, new uh, fork seals in the front end. And I'll give you a, a look at this. And we'll start it up so you can take a listen. But it is in very, very good shape. The only thing that's not stock is we put a uh, we put European style little chrome directionals on the bike. And it does have new mirrors. They're better than stock, much better. You can see behind you very well with them. Uh, the only imperfections, oh, the other stock thing uh, that's not stock uh, is it has K&N uh, long uh, conal K&N air filters and the carburetors have been rejetted. Um, there's a, just a couple imperfections on the tank. A little scrape there by the Suzuki. There's a little bump there in the front that's hard to see. But other than that, um, it's in very good shape. Right now it's starting to sprinkle. So we're going to have to speed this up a little if I'm going to start it up. Uh, it's got very good tires on it. Just put on. Um, we did change the oils and the fork oil and I'll have to start it up for you in a minute. Okay, we got a little cover over the bike right now. I'll give you some more close-ups so you can see what condition it's in. It's very clean. The aluminum is in pretty good shape, definitely for its age. Once again, it only has 11,000 miles on it and we got we got it running real sweet right now. So uh, it's a very smooth, powerful bike. Flat torque uh, range on it. It's got a five speed motor, five speed transmission. Very comfortable as far as sitting on it. The bars are right there in front of you. And the seat's really plush. So the riding position's really good for distances if you put a little windshield on it and uh, we also made a change to the uh, to the uh, ratio of the counter sprocket it was written up in cycle world there you can see the mileage a good shot of the instruments uh, we lowered the counter sprocket uh, size from 16 to 15 so on the highway it, the engine does have a balancer on it, so it's very smooth. You'll see how quiet it is, too, running in a minute here. But um, uh, a little above 4,500 RPM, you know, it's a twin. Even with a balancer, you're going to get a little vibration. But with that counter sprocket, you can go 70 miles an hour, and you're still, you're still not going to be even close to, uh, to getting into that vibration uh, mode on the highway. So we'll start it up now. It's cold. We'll uh, we'll start it right from the choke, full choke. And the key, I think I have to put my camera down for a second to pull a clutch in. Very quiet motor, very smooth running. It's got a mono shock too, and a dampener. The dampener adjuster is right there. You can really set it up nice. 
for uh, riding two up or solo. It has air shocks. You can put up to 36 pounds of air in the air shocks and uh, make it a real canyon twister. Yeah, I took the choke off too soon there, so now, now it's basically idling. It's still cold. It's a very quiet motor. This would be a lot of fun. This is one of the most fun 650s just because it's so light. It handles so well and it's very smooth. It's a great all-around bike. It's one of the best 650 uh, bikes in its class. I would say that I've ridden much better than a Triumph. Much smoother, just as torquey. And uh, so certainly keep up with the Triumph in the corners. It has great handling abilities. So I hope you like the bike. Thank you.